We are back for Quest for Glory 3, The Wages of War, Sierra Games Scott's walkthrough slash pl let's play. And we are at the beginning of the end. Uh, we are just continuing on. Um, I am actually going to pause for a second. I just want to start off right in front of the gate. Uh, I thought it was a good backdrop. And next time we, when we pick up, we will be in the jungle. So hold tight. Alright, we are back and we are in the jungle. And as you can see, we find uh, Manu, our buddy. And he is going to um, help us go to the monkey village. So we'll greet our buddy. Alright. And we'll ask him about the village since we're not much of a choice. And. Okay, he guess it offered and we have agreed. I don't know what happens when you decline a lot of these things. I don't know if the game automatically forces you to do accept or if um, it just makes you meet him up up with him again or whoever it is again and uh, or if you actually can uh, put yourself in a tough spot. I think this game's a little bit idiot proof. Some of the earlier Sierra games there are a lot of dead ends. Um, some of the later games, they made it um, less likely for you to really just foul up and go down the wrong road. So, um, I'm not really sure, but I would assume that this game works like that. In any event, we're heading off to the Monkey Village. Uh, it is not much of a village. I think it's interesting that pretty much every time you follow some character, it always turns to night, and you just have to spend that time making some campfire. But, um, so be it. Also, a few things we didn't go looking for, but actually, I think mostly in the savanna, uh, you know, we saw some of those signs in the jungle for that had some humorous statements. But in the savanna, you can actually run into some Laurel and Hardy characters and have a little brief uh, scene with that. I don't think you can interact with them too much. And you can also run into uh, the awful waffle, <laughs> which is this big waffle that I don't know if you can really do anything with that. I forget. There's also another character, sort of like a, a miner. And I don't think he actually helps you too much at all. He may, we may have missed some small thing with him, but I, I don't think he's all that important. Um, he shows up, but he pretty much has mostly silly things to say. And then there's also sometimes a trap you can spring, which can give you honor points because it means people, uh, creatures aren't going to get caught in it. But we didn't, we didn't run into any of those. I guess we just didn't travel enough in the savanna. But um, anyway, those are in the game, but not all that important. Okay, so, um, we need to get up there, and we can't climb, and we can't levitate, so, um, we need to ask him for help. Alright, so, pretty much, I think what we need to do is we need to use that vine we used, uh, with Yusufu. Uh, maybe not. Okay, well, never mind about that. No. Okay, well, we need to get up there somehow. Vines. We need a swing line. And we'll try yet again. Alright. We'll just keep talking to him then until he tells us then, so we don't keep wasting our time like that. Okay, well, this is all very interesting, Manu, but we uh, kind of need to get up there. <laughs> Alright. All right, talk about swing line. All right, so Mono's not too bright. He's not, uh, but he is a monkey, so I guess we don't have to expect him to be too swift. All right, or why don't you drop down the ladder? Uh, that's pretty weak. <laughs> okay, so we're up here, and this is the first time I guess you actually sort of see the hero's face, so that's what we look like, I guess. Um, I guess you cannot talk to the other monkeys very much. Only him. Alright. So he wants us to pretty much live here in Monkey Village, and of course that's not really... Uh, the game is not called Living in a Monkey Village, it's called Wages of War, and we have to stop the war. Okay.
So pretty much he's just telling us where this um, lost city is, and that's where pretty much the demons have made their um, hideout. One thing we did kind of lose, I don't think know if we have a shot at getting it, is um, we can't we didn't fight two characters, an ape man who kind of lives out in this area. We didn't really explore it that much. There's not too much to see, and also um, uh, the demon worms. And we might actually run into a demon wor or worm, but um, so we have to just keep begging him to tell us, and he doesn't want to. Um, but um, we probably actually will run into one at some point, possibly this video, um, very likely in fact. And we're just just have to keep going through the sequence to actually get them to take us. All right, finally will take us. And um, they're pretty tough characters. But those are two other uh, monsters we haven't dealt with. So um. I actually kind of regret missing that, but they're not that important. I think the ape men actually are kind of like sort of cavemen creatures. I think they actually keep money on them, though there's no real like village for them, just like the croc people, the croc men. And there's, um, I don't know where they get money if they're just kind of ape-like creatures, just go around beating things up, people up. I guess they just rob the few people who'd come that far out of the jungle. I don't know. Anyway, um... Okay, so okay, so we are here, um, and I just pause briefly to save because it, I think it is a bit easy to get killed here. Um, so now I think is when we get the vine. To... All right. Oh, well, I think we do use the vine, but we've got to tell Manu pretty much about it. Yeah, well, we can't get across Manu, so. Um... I'm hoping we can get across this before the video runs out, but uh, Manu is not being very helpful. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to get a little closer, I guess. And the reason I saved was because it, I think it's fairly easy to actually fall off the edge and have that be the end. Alright. So, I apologize. I'm pretty sure I knew what to do, but... Okay, well, this is somewhat embarrassing. Um... Let me pause briefly and see if I can finish this up. Okay, we're back. Um, what we had to do was grab a vine over here, and then we could tell them about the vine for some reason. I guess our other vine isn't good enough. So, he's fixing that for us, and I guess um, we can just walk across. And I guess that worked. Okay, so I apologize that that was um, kind of pathetic, <laughs> um, but I guess it wants us to use that vine. So I was right, I just didn't realize that you had to find that vine. It was kind of hidden, that was kind of, I think, a pretty cheap thing. Anyway, uh, we're out of time, unfortunately, because we wasted so much on that, but uh, next time we will be at the Lost City and uh, hopefully make some pretty decent progress towards finishing this game up. So um, tune in next time as we move along to the end of the game. Bye.